Voss. So refreshing. What's up, YouTube? You're not the Star Life, and today I have a sponsored Karma Loop haul for you guys. I also have a new backdrop, as you guys can see. So if you guys like Karma Loop, or if you guys like the backdrop, or if you guys hate Karma Loop, or if you guys hate the backdrop, or if you guys are indifferent to either of those things, make sure you hit that like button below. Show that you support the channel. It really does help me out. If you guys hit that like button, it helps the channel grow. It shows that you guys like the content, you like what I'm doing. And also leave a comment below on what you did or did not like about the pieces that I showed off today. Also, if you're shopping on Carmeloop or Plunder.com, make sure use my rep code NER2020, that's N-E-R-D-2020. That code will get you guys 10 to 20% off your entire order, so definitely go take advantage of that. And if you use it in conjunction with the promo code, which I always tweet out promo codes whenever I see them, um, it'll get you just an extra percent off, but it still helps me out a lot. So definitely go take advantage of that. Please use that when you are shopping on Carmeloop or Plunder. Com. And speaking of deals, I want to touch on holiday sales real quick because it is the holiday season and I'm posting this right after Thanksgiving. I'm actually posting this a day earlier than I normally do just because it's like Black Friday weekend and usually the sales extend through the weekend so you guys can still get like the 40% off over $350 on Karma Loop and just other like companies will have like their sale going through the entire weekend. So definitely take advantage of these sales. Because it is the holiday season, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter, which is at the Star Life, and I'll leave that on the screen somewhere. You guys might be asking yourself, why do I need to go follow you on Twitter? Because it's the holidays. What do your Twitter and the holidays have in common? Well, I'll tell you what they have in common. The fact is, is that I post sales whenever I come across them on Karma Loop or Urban Outfitters or other websites like that that give you like a big variety of clothing. And uh, just in general, when I see a good sale on like Fresh I Am or Profound Aesthetics or any other brands I like, I always post them on my Twitter. So if you guys want to see these sales as I see them, then go follow me on Twitter and I will continue to keep you guys updated on whatever sale I come across. I'm always looking at these websites like literally almost daily. I go through like some of the websites and I see if they have a good sale that's like worth mentioning. And if they do, I just tweet it real quick for you guys. So uh, definitely go do that. Follow me on Twitter and stay up to date on the sales throughout the holidays because they will continue to have sales basically for the next two months. But yeah, hopefully you guys had a good uh, Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys enjoy the next couple holidays coming up like Christmas and New Year's and all that fun stuff. So hope you guys have a good time with your family. And that's it for holiday sales. And now on to the lovely pickups that Karma Loop sent me. Thank you so much, Karma Loop. You are amazing. I love you. First up, we have this quilted hoodie from 10 Deep, and you might be saying to yourself, uh, Jacob, you already have that hoodie. You have one just like it. Uh, no, I don't. The one that I have already says DXXP95 on the back of it. This one is just blank all over and the exact same price. I don't know why, but whatever. It's nice, and I want another one because the other one I'm going to put even more patches on, and I'm just going to put like a billion patches on it. So I figured, hey, why not have two? One plain one, one patch one two quilted hoodies. I love this hoodie. However, I would recommend real quick, if you guys do end up getting this, I would size up. Reason being is because it does feel a little short. And if you guys like that larger look that is in right now, I would definitely size up. Regardless, it is good for layering because it has this little zip right here. Um, as you guys can see, I do kind of wish it had it on both sides, but whatever. It's got it on one side and it's still nice for layering. And it's definitely a sick piece. It keeps you super warm. I love this. It's real heavy weight. It feels nice. Um, if you guys see it, I would definitely recommend uh, getting one, especially with all the sales going on. But I'm pretty sure they still have them in stock, hopefully. If not, then you guys are uh, shit out of luck. Not really, they actually have crewnecks too in olive and white, and I saw those on there. and like 90% sure they still have those ones in stock. But still, same quilted pattern, just in different colorways. Really, really dope. Size up. Real quick, uh, fun little story. When I was wearing the other one that says DXXP, 95, I was shooting a video for it um, when I shot the last Karma Loop sponsored haul and this uh, crackhead came up to me and she was like DXXP, D as in dick, XX, P as in poop and I was like okay lady you're crazy and then she was like singing this crazy love song um, I actually have the audio from it if you guys want it you guys can like sign a petition or something to get me to play it but I'm not really sure if I want to uh, release that to you guys because I was scared as fuck and I was shook like I will tell you straight up, I was literally shook. I really thought this lady was like possessed or something. It was scary. She was creepy. And um, yeah, so 10 deep, your guys' uh, hoodies attract demonized creatures. But regardless, dope hoodie. Go get it. Next up, we have this Heather Gray Scoop Tee from Thread Workshop. Really, really comfortable. Really nice for the price, especially. Um, my one complaint is that the tag up here kind of feels like it's like rubbing on your neck and it's just kind of annoying. I don't really like the tag, but other than that, really, really comfortable, really decently priced. Um, I would definitely recommend getting some. They're like an essential piece. And things I always tell people like, your Heather Gray colored like t-shirts, your black t-shirts, your white t-shirts, 
those will never go out of style. I don't ever get white ones usually just because unless the price is like perfect, unless the price is Bob Barker right, then I don't really mess with it just because the fact they get dirty way too quickly. But your black, your gray, like your basic colors like that will never go out of style. You can wear this, I can, I can wear this tee in 50 years, but there's certain like screen printed t-shirts that are gonna go out of style, they're just gonna look tacky in like three or four years. So um, definitely recommend picking one of these up. They're like 30 bucks, not too expensive at all. Thread Workshop, go grab yourself one. Yeah. All right, next up I have two hats, a pair of socks, and a card holder. For the two hats, I have this right here, which I do not remember what this is called, but it's a really sick hat from 10 Deep. I had to get this. As most of you guys know, I'm more into like bent brims right now, but 10 Deep does make some really sick design hats, so I picked them up and I'm probably going to try to bend this brim. I think this will still look pretty dope. But as you guys can see, it's got the Windows logo, which was altered to say 10 and have like the little X that they have go through their O usually. Um, which is really really sick and then you have like the browser like the internet browser you got the little world with the with the uh, mouse on it and then uh, on this side it says uh, worldwide wave or it actually would say world wet um, but what they mean is worldwide wave and uh, then on the back uh, you have some Japanese symbols that probably say like I'm a loser or something and then it says uh, 10 deep or uh, 1x um, or 10 deep, whichever. Alright, next up we have this, uh, the deep hat, which this might look familiar. Um, I don't know where else you have seen it. I wonder where else could you have seen it? Probably on my head. And I actually have another one of these, except the lettering is white. So that kind of tells you I probably like this hat if I have three of them and two of them in the exact same colorway. I like the black on black, the deep, it was on sale. Um, if they still have it, it probably still is on sale. I do not know why this does not get picked up because it's a really nice simple hat. It fits really good and when I curve that brim, it's going to feel even better. But uh, yeah, I'm going to curve the brim on this one as well. It's going to be dope. There's nothing else on it. It's just real simple. Black on black, the deep. It's got the triple X logo that uh, 10 Deep always uses. But yeah, definitely if you guys are in the market for a real simple black hat, this is the one. All right, so I have two more things, uh, two accessories that are not opened um, because I haven't worn them yet and I don't feel like opening them until I wear them, but I have the Flying Coffin Inverted Cross Socks, which I have like four pairs of these, and you guys have probably seen these on my channel before if you guys have been rocking me for a while, so you guys know I like Flying Coffin, I like Inverted Cross Socks, a lot of people say, why do you like Inverted Crosses? I don't want to get too deep into it, but I will tell you that the Inverted Cross is a misunderstood symbol, it was not a satanic symbol until the 19th century, I like misunderstood symbols, I like rocking misunderstood symbols, so that way when people are like, oh my god, do you worship Satan? I can educate them a little bit and say, hey, no, I don't worship Satan, but you should know what the symbol actually means and where it originated from and stop judging me. And lastly, I have this card holder right here, um, which is unopened, but I do have an opened one right here, so that should show you that I like this card holder, I use it. It's a real simple Herschel canvas card holder. It's got the uh, infamous little stripes right there, it's got a little pocket for your money, all your little cards, you got like my military ID, you got my driver's license, you got a debit card, you know, all that fun stuff. I use these things, I do not like wallets, they're way too thick, and I don't know why anyone wears them. Almost every person I've gotten to convert to a card holder is like, oh my goodness, I wish I would have done this a long time ago, because I guarantee you, if you have a full big wallet in your pocket right now, you can find some stuff to get rid of out of that wallet that you do not need to carry with you 24-7, and then you can carry this, and whenever you sit down, just in general, it's so much nicer, it's smaller, and yeah, go get yourself a card holder. They're not that expensive, and you can get them on sale, especially right now, with all these deals at Karma Loop. Alright, that is it for the product description. However, I do still have the lookbook style video to show you guys how it looks on me, or how it fits on me. I am 5'8 and about 145 pounds, and I got a size medium in both of them. And like I said, I would recommend sizing up on the Tendi Putty, but you guys can see for yourself how you think it fits on me and how you think it will fit on you with whatever size you choose to get. Also, this video was shot at Gasworks Park in Seattle, which has a beautiful skyline of the city, so if you guys want to go check that place out, if you guys are ever in the area, definitely do that. It's a really cool location, and it was shot with my lovely niece, Leslie Hale, who is going to be a future WNBA star because she's a baller, she plays basketball, and she better be, otherwise I'll beat her. Not really. And as for the last little tidbit of information for you guys, the song that I use in this video is from my dear friend Blake Enter. So definitely go check him out on SoundCloud. As always, I always leave a link to the song that I use 
in the description box below at the very bottom. So definitely go check that out. Go give him a follow. Go listen to that song. I love this song. To me, it's really, really awesome. I really like the unmastered version, which is why I use the unmastered version. It's a really, really dope song. I love the hook on that thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. So as always, keep living the star life. Blow! <laughs>